So I think the automatic alt converter actually has done a great job because the difference between LOD0 where I'm using strands and LOD2 where it's cards, it's barely noticeable. Hello guys, Mars Framens here. So we're going to continue our custom grooming and custom fur topic. And I found out actually pretty cool experimental tool in Unreal Engine that converts the hair strands to the hair cards. It's still experimental, so it kind of doesn't work fully how you expect. And it actually works a bit better with the metahuman hair that I believe they are using to kind of like develop that tool. Uh, then it actually works on like some custom stuff like a custom fur that I made in a blender But last week I played around with parameters and I kind of I think figure out uh, Kind of the middle ground which settings work and if you want to just play around the experimental tool You can jump into it and I just gonna show you the settings that I found out works the best and you can use as a starting point to kind of like convert your strands to the cards for your gaming characters so let's jump into it so before i go over uh, the conversion process and how to use the plugin i'm just going to quickly show two results so you can see if it's even worth it to do it uh, so here we have lod character and here we have lod2 character because uh, I'm using like strands for my LOD0 and LOD1 and then starting from LOD2, I'm using cards. Well, at a far distance, there is basically no difference. Like, like really, they look so close. You can hear, you can see actually maybe here in some of the parts you can see, yeah, it looks actually like a cards and the strands are actually just blends a bit better together. But at the far distance... You know, it looks good. And actually, my character, also, this is like LOD0 and this is LOD2. Metahuman, actually, they look almost identical, which is great. And if you go into close-up, still look pretty, pretty close. Obviously, if you move closer to, let's say, ears, we can see the strands look better than the cards. Ah, uh, this look like a card. The top hair actually looks pretty, pretty similar. And for the body, in some places, it actually looks better, even the cards than the strands. But we can see here is a bit like, again, like, you know, if we totally zoom in, we can start to see the card pattern. But again, like, you know, for your cinematics or some cutscenes, you would use your LOD0 strands. And for the gameplay, walking around with your character, you would use cards. And at the far distance, actually, if your ca camera is, for example, here, you can't tell the difference and just to kind of like show that it's really cards and the strands i just gonna uh shift to wireframe and we can see yeah see this is using strands so obviously there is no uh geometry and here for the strand for the cards we have geometry even the meta humans look pretty close so i'm actually pretty happy with this tool and the results it give again it's experimental it doesn't work fully how you expect but i'm just going to show you the setting so the first thing we're going to do is we you're going to need to go to the plugins open the plugins and search for the hair car generator so that's the new experimental plugin that's out there so once you enable it restore the engine and you are back for the previous tutorial everything else like so i assume you have watched my previous tutorial and you have made your own grooming asset you can also convert many human hairs because not all of them has lod's but anyways so I can import my body here. Let's click import. And now let's start with some setup. Let's open it up. So the same as before, we're gonna set up hair width and I'm just gonna bring down the tip scale to something like zero one. So we can see what we are working with. And there are multiple settings. So first thing you wanna do is set up two materials. We can set up two materials and one is going to be for the strands and one is going to be for the cards. So you can use actually metahuman hair. So it's going to be hair. So you can use like M hair and uh, cards. So, so you can use just default ones uh, for the testing purposes. So and if you want to use the texture, what you can do is just uh, open any of these. Um, so this card. So this card is actually 
So this card is actually a child of this one. So whenever you're going to modify the master, it's going to modify these two. So as we can see, the hair card, uh, its parent is this hair. And then if we go more in, we can open this, this one. And this is the master. So this is how the master would look. Um, so this is the master material of the metahuman hair. I would suggest you to make your own copy. And to use your own texture, all you need to do is actually just plug in here hair texture. Uh, so basically this hair dye is plugged in here in a hair dye color. So you unplug that and plug into your texture. In my case, I have added the switch so I can like toggle between, you know, use the texture or use the custom color. And for the texture, the same as we did in previous tutorial, we need to plug in this root UV. So you plug the, you take this root UV, plug it into the hair texture and then grab this one and plug it in a hair day color to use the texture. And after you do that, only thing you actually need to do is um, grab your child material that you create. And there is a metal, metal in section because we can see like now this is my texture, but I have some brownish things. All you need to do is just Drag down the melanin to zero and now it's your you it's using fully your texture so that's it so if you want to use your own texture that's you can what you can do so i that's what i will do i'm just going to use body fur and i'm going to use body fur cards next thing we're going to do i'm going to go to lod section because i want to use lod's for my fur again if you don't want it you can skip this part but so by default it's lod zero here I'm going to add another LOD for the strands because I want to have strands for LOD 0 and LOD 1. So we can see it's going to do the curve this mutation. Um, if we click to the manual, right, we can go here. It's like 160,000 uh, curves. And if we click LOD 1, it's now 81,000 curves. So it automatically decreases the amount of the strands. And then I want to start my cards from LOD2. So currently we're not going to add it. We're going to go now to uh, cards. Uh, before that, actually, so what I have discovered that works the best kind of to get the cards and the strands close enough is, for example, by default, I use uh, for my strands the width to 0 0.03, right? But when I create the cards, because cards are going to be created based on the width of uh, the current setting, I actually set this to something like 008 because the cards usually come out thicker. And then I, after I'm done creating cards, then I'm going to go back to this one. So set this currently to 0 0.008. And then we can go to the cards. Let's save this one. And we're going to click this plus icon. So in the material section, we're going to set up our other material. So the one we are using for the cards. And actually for the strands, you can set up the first material. Then here we leave default, here we don't touch anything. Now we're gonna go to the texture. And here we're gonna change to the card compact. It's basically gonna create a ton of card textures and then just compact is better because it's gonna, these six textures is gonna put in three textures just in uh, RGB channels. So it's just gonna reduce the draw calls. Group index, we're going to leave it to zero. For LOD index, I'm going to put LOD2 because we gonna we have LOD0, LOD1, and we want our card to be LOD2. So if you, for example, don't make uh, LOD1 here, you for example, you just have LOD0 and you want a card starting from LOD1, then you're going to put here LOD1. Now we're going to create the, going to click this generate hair cards. And I'm just going to go quickly over these settings. And the thing is, majority of these settings currently don't work as it should. So the first one is generate all geometry groups. Uh, so for example, as we did in previous time, uh, for example, for the face, I had everything under the one room. So I had a face hair, long hair, ear hair. So I had three different, four different actually, hairs under the one groom asset. So this makes sure that they're all, for all of them are generated uh, the cards, but currently this doesn't work. At least not for me. Uh, when I try to use this, when I try to put multiple group, 
groom assets under one groom, like making multiple groups, it was crashing. So what I suggest to you is like, if you have multiple things like I have here, export them one by one. Uh, Cause previous time I showed you that you can actually export is as a, as a chunk, but export them and as a separate things. For example, like we can see here, I have hands nor and feet missing. Normally I would, uh, Put them all together and then i can would have here under the strands i would have group id one i, I would have body third and i would be feet and hands uh but it's all separate because currently that option didn't work for me well so it was crashing but still leave this attack uh so the next one is reduce cards from previous lod so this is like when we can generate the first card and then in the next one this option gonna uh, appear so basically you can generate next LOD from the previous you can generate the next card based on the previous card in theory when this plugin is going to be done it's going to work probably very well currently it doesn't work so I was just using the strands instead of previous LOD to create so I just ignore this option because it didn't work well uh, then there is a use reserve space from previous LOD. This is like about the textures. So you can have instead of for each card LOD, you can have all of the textures in one texture. In theory, when this tool probably is not going to be experimental, it's going to work better. In my case, it was giving giving problems. And you're going to see like when I'm going to create the first LOD, it's going to make more sense. So we have Atlas size. So this is basically the texture resolution. And then we have these, uh, we can set the amount, how many cards we want, uh, the texture size, triangles, and how many flower hairs. So for example, if you have these small hairs that I have here, you can set up how many uh, you want them to stay there in um, the cards. So if you don't want any, these kind of small hairs, you can just set this to zero. I'm just going to leave for my LOD2, everything is default, and I'm just going to click generate. So after the generation process is done, um, we can see generated these textures. And now currently, if we're going to make an, another LOD, uh, it's going to create a new, new texture. But again, as I said, there's that option that you can combine them. So basically, if you have four, then it will be like grade one here, two, three, four. But currently, it doesn't work. I was losing actually a lot of um, detail. So currently this is the best option, but anyways, so since we have this is done, we can go back to LOD. We can add a new group, scroll down. So for LOD two, and we can select the cards from the strands to the cards. And now we can see that LOD two is cards. LOD zero strands, LOD one strands, LOD two cards. Great. And I'm just going to quickly actually show impact. So for example, like we have this one. And if we instead would actually set up the texture space, let's say we're going to set to 4K uses 50% space of the combined texture. And if I can now generate it, we can see that it's switched actually um, here to the 50% instead of full on the next you could put uh, next LODs here, let's say 25, 25, you know, 50 here, 25, 25 here. But my whole problem is you can see what's happening. And again, this is experimental and I'm sure that in uh, release or in a beta, we're not going to succeed this, but currently, as I said, this doesn't work for me. If I put any number, um, uh, to cut down this one it immediately impacts how my cards look and i don't know maybe maybe i need to crack up these numbers and stuff like that but currently so combining these uh textures between card lod's doesn't work so i just reset this to zero and i generate i mean we can see my card mesh looks immediately much better with using a full texture so that's kind of a small trade-off right now that for each card you can have your own uh texture so if you want to create the next level let's say i want to create now lod3 with even less you know card information so let's go add another card 
again, we can set up the material. We're going to change uh, cars to contact. It has automatically set the index to three, which is cool. So you don't need to set. Then we can go here. So we can see that we have this option, as I mentioned before, that the reduce cards from previous uh, LOD. So if you don't click this, it's going to use the strand information to create a ne next lower LOD when we can adjust these parameters or you can click it, right? And then it's going to use um, the previous one. But currently, as I said, it doesn't work well. So how the math now works to create a lower LOD is it's dividing by whatever you said here, you're going to divide that. And if you use some other math, it's again, it didn't work out for me. It, it was giving weird glitches. So currently as an experimental stage, this is what at least works. You, you can play out. Let me know in the comments if there's other math that works for your furs or your hair, but currently for my fur, this is what works. For example, like for previous one was we were so LOD, this two is 4K. So next one, I want to have a 2K. So gonna get 2K and I'm just gonna divide all these by two. Two and I'm gonna set fly hair to zero because I don't wanna have any fall fly hair to um, my next LOD. So I now gonna click to generate and we can again go back to LOD add another group ID. It has automatically set up this to the cards and now we can check this one. And here we go. So we have this, so we can see we have 40,000 curves and this one has 20 and the same, the same with points. So we have 327,000 and now we have uh, 100, 160,000 for this one. And again, for the next LOD, if you don't want to create another one, we again use the same math. We open this up, set the texture, um, set this to the card compact. Make sure to make card compact, not mesh compact, because then it's gonna not going to work correctly. Uh, and then we go here, create it. And again, the math is very simple. So we can set up the 1K and this just needs to be divided by four. Divide by four, divide by four, and this is going to be zero. And I'm just going to generate it. And now again, once the generation is done, we can go LOD zero, to LOD tab, click another group. Um, it's going to automatically add, and then we can look, look at LOD four. You know, the, the lower we go, the more obviously choppy it's going to be, but LOD four, uh, it's going to be very far distance characters, very far background. So again, you're not going to even notice a difference. And now when you're done, you can go back and crack up the strands. So let's say 0 0.3. So, so LOD zero and LOD two looks pretty close. We can see if you're switching, we can see now if it's a, like that here is the cards right here. And then when switch to card, but actually if you're checking here, you know, difference is very small. Just to make sure that this is LOD2. See, this is LOD2. Um, you barely can tell, actually. On the actual character, barely can tell the difference. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, like and subscribe. Check my Patreon and my YouTube membership. Let me know about your results with this experimental tool, how it works with converting your hairs or your furs to uh, cards. But I think for automatic tool, this is currently, besides probably a Houdini, it's probably the best results I have ever seen when you just automatically, without basically doing anything, just convert the strands to the cards. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye. I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly.